Okay, so we have a lot to talk about. Let's get straight into it. Uh, WBC orders lightweight title eliminator between Ryan Garcia and Isak Cruz. If no deal is struck between Garcia's promoter, Oscar De La Hoya, and Cruz's promoter, Al Heyman, a purse bid will be held on June 14th. It also says the winner of the proposed fight would be guaranteed a shot at the WBC 135 pound title held by Devin Haney. Haney meets George Cambosis for the undisputed lightweight championship on June 4th. So a lot going on here, but let's just talk about Ryan Garcia versus Isak Cruz. Obviously fight isn't 100% confirmed yet. There's going to be a purse bid negotiations. Uh, Isak Cruz, I believe is Ryan Garcia's toughest fight right now. No doubt about it. You know, Isak Cruz is coming off of that spectacular fight versus Gervonta Tank Davis you know, even though he lost that fight, it was, I think it was a coming out party for Isak Cruz. You know, I don't, I don't really think a lot of people even knew who Isak Cruz was uh, before the Gervonta Tank Davis fight. Gave Tank a tough fight, a very tough fight. Then he went on to defeat uh, Gamboa, who, I mean, if you don't know, Gamboa is 40 years old, I think now. One foot out of the door, he probably should have retired a few years ago. But... Isak Cruz completely dominated him. I think he dropped him like five times, maybe even six times before the referee finally called the fight off. So if they do make this fight happen, Ryan Garcia has the obvious height advantage, the reach advantage, and probably the speed advantage as well. But if I'm betting on who's going to win, I would bet on Isak Cruz, no doubt about it. I think he's going to pressure Ryan Garcia in a way that Ryan Garcia hasn't been pressured. You've seen he did exactly that to Javante Davis, continuing to come forward, constant pressure. He has a hell of a chin. Isak Cruz can take a shot. You know, I, I, I just don't know if Ryan Garcia would have been able to stand in front of Javante Tank Davis uh, the way Isak Cruz did. It was very impressive. I mean, till this day... Uh, Deontay Wilder there, <laughs> but, but literally till this day, a lot of people think, uh, Isak Cruz won that fight. They think Isak Cruz won. They think he got robbed. You know, I, I wouldn't go that far. Me personally. Um, I, I think, yes, it was a close fight, but I think tank, you know, having more experience, you know, he was able to land a few more shots in Isak Cruz. And overall, I, I believe he, he won that fight. Ultimately, you know, if that fight, happens again in a few years down the road who knows you know Isak Cruz is still getting better he's very young and you know so is Ryan Garcia um and the reason why I think Ryan Garcia loses as well is if you go back and watch his last fight versus Emmanuel Tago I doubt you even watched it I doubt any of you guys watched it because it was a snooze fest and if you watched it you know that it was an absolutely boring fight. I mean, I remember I was I was trying to make a video on it. I was I was trying to cover it. So, you know, when the fight's happening and after the fight's done, I go on social media, see what the people are saying. No one was talking about it. I couldn't find anything uh, to talk about regarding the fight other than it was an absolute snooze fest. You know, and to give Ryan Garcia some credit, you know, it was a tune up fight. He hadn't fought in, you know, over a year. His last fight was versus Luke Campbell. So it was a tune-up fight, but surprisingly, Ryan couldn't stop Emmanuel. You know, he chased him around the entire fight. You know, he was landing a lot of punches. They, they didn't have any pop behind him. They didn't have any power behind him. Emmanuel was able to survive all the way, you know, until the fight was over and Ryan Garcia won uh, by decision. I say all that to say, you know, it's, it's not a good fight for Ryan Garcia. And if he does accept this fight, because who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? You know, they, there's going to be a purse bid. There's going to be negotiations. We know Ryan Garcia likes to pull out of fights. You know, I'm not trying to talk shit, but that's just the truth. You know, he's, he's pulled out of fights back to back. Uh, so we have to take that into consideration, especially when he knows how dangerous Isak Cruz is. Now, I also see Oscar De La Hoya. He says he is in... Um, all in favor of making this fight happen. He says Al Heyman is the biggest obstacle uh, to make this fight happen. I also see Ryan Garcia. He's also, I 
believe campaigning for this fight as well let's check his social media i think the last thing he said about it was let's make this fight happen let's see what he's got to say okay so here he is right here retweeting espn ringside the wbc has ordered garcia versus isa cruz he said i'm so excited this fight just got ordered by wbc so little chance this man escapes from his fate when he enters the ring with me let go let go pitbull wolf wolf time to make this happen don't do anything weird let's give the fans what they want so i mean we've seen this before you know with ryan you know he goes on social media says he wants to fight gets the fight pulls out of pulls out of the fight so uh, you know i'm, I'm going to take his tweets as a, as a grain of salt he also said i'm going to try to bring this to the city of la so i guess that's a possible location isak cruz you can't really find anything on his social media i doubt he's talking about this on social media uh, so i'm not even going to go look for it because i've tried to find you know different training footage and stuff like that Isak Cruz is like a ghost when it comes to social media. Uh, regardless, a tough fight for Ryan. And I'd be surprised if this fight actually happens. I would love to see the fight happen. And they also said the winner of this fight is going to... Let's see. It says the winner of the pr proposed fight would be guaranteed a shot at the WBC 135-pound title held by Devin Haney. So if they do make this fight happen... Whoever wins is going to get a shot at the winner of Devin Haney versus uh, George Cambosis Jr. for, you know, undisputed. You know, all the belts will be combined. You know, if if Devin Haney loses, Cambosis will be undisputed and vice versa. And, man, it, it'll be a big fight for either one of these guys, whether it be Isak Cruz or Ryan Garcia. Obviously, Ryan Garcia, he's a lot bigger of a draw than Isak Cruz, no doubt about it. So if he, if he does go on to defeat Isak Cruz, which... You know, it's, it's a it's a tough fight. It's a tough fight for Ryan. But if he does, he will get a shot at becoming undisputed. And to me, it all just sounds too good to be true. I just don't see him getting past Isak Cruz. I think Isak Cruz, a lot of people are going to sleep on him because a lot of people don't know who he is going into this fight, especially with Ryan Garcia. You know, he has a lot of fans who don't know who Isak Cruz is. They're going to count Isak Cruz out. And I think Isak Cruz, he's going to go in there and if he puts on a performance like he did versus Javante Tank Davis and he just stays in Ryan Garcia's face, continues to walk Ryan down, puts that pressure on him. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Love to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated with this. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.